some wonderful slots up here and be doing some gambling. We're not doing some gambling tonight. Uh, not until good old Dan the Man comes back on. When Dan's back on, we'll do that. We'll, uh, we'll uh, run that. Now, I'm actually in a hotel right now. Normally, I'd be here with Dan the Man, but uh, it doesn't have... Uh, Good Wi-Fi, maybe actually. We're gonna we're gonna stop this stream and we're gonna test. Uh, it's going yellow and red, so we're gonna test whether we get a good stream here. All right, we're starting the stream again. Uh, okay, there we go. Well, guys, it's, it's going green. It's going yellow. There's green. Okay, we're just going to run it. We're going to run the stream. We're going to see if it can handle it. Uh, I wanted to stop the stream and then check the recording to see whether it was smooth. Yeah, see, it's going red again. So I don't know if this is going to be a smooth recording. So I don't know if it's worth doing the effort and putting it forward for the stream. Uh, what we're going to do, I know this is crazy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my phone. If any of you guys do uh, any Twitch type things, this is, this is going to be an interesting little troubleshoot. I went, I tried to just stop the stream and then check it real quick, but uh, yeah. You know what happened when I tried to do that. It, it would just said like, it had this weird thing up there, like, we're having trouble following the stream. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to go to Twitch TV. I know everybody loves these setups for, like, what a stream. Well, if anybody knows what's happening next, there's some art happening next. It's going to happen right down here. It's going to happen right down there in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's see if we're getting a decent stream here. This is a test. Uh, really easy thing to do, guys. You need to check out. Okay, let's see. Let's see how the stream's coming through here. Alright, I see me. Am I frozen or is it doing uh, something? Really easy thing to do, guys. Okay, great. Check out. So the stream's coming let's through. See. This is a stream of the stream of me going in a circle, inception, some stuff. Anyway, guys, let's not waste time. I just want to check to make sure the stream is coming through right. Here we go. Uh, we're going to be doing some art tonight. Uh, we got this guy here. He's already set up. We're actually going to open him. There's a couple things in here. One thing is some wonderful, nice paper here. Everybody loves paper. All right. So we'll get our paper out. That's not the main thing I was going to show you. We also have a drawing. If you guys were here last time, we did this drawing right here. I'm going to let it there. Boy, that could be better focus, couldn't it? Let's see. Oh, uh, there we go, focusing on that guy. He looks really cool. We're very happy with how he came out. But one thing we weren't able to show you guys last time is we've actually done a lot of these drawings with this other stuff in here, right? These are all tarot drawings, and they're all eventually, once I upload them and do the pics, they're going to be up on CryptoTarot.club, which is a cool place where you can do free tarot readings. You can even buy NFTs. Uh, they're not all up on there. I just started this process, so a lot of them are not up there yet. Here, let's do this. Um, we do want to do those. Just show you these guys real quick. I want to give you an idea of the kind of art I'm talking about. Here's some of the drawings we've done before. 
Now, we didn't build these on stream. These are some of the guys. Like, Here's our Eight of Wands, which actually Eight of Wands does have a YouTube video of, which you can check out at Daily Commitment. Uh, the, what do you call that thing? The <laughs> Daily Commitment, the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, Daily Commitment, which should be in the links by now, but probably isn't because we're being lazy and we're letting Dan the man do all the work on the links and I'm like working on art and stuff. But here's a cool one. There's the Lovers, my, one of my favorite ones actually that I've done. I wonder if these look cool. Whoa, yeah, there we go. Yeah, they look cool up close too. I'm a flying angel, flying angel, but I love that one. I thought it came out great. And this is the kind of art we're going to be producing on the channel. Look at this guy. Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune. Anyway, we're going to get down here. I'm going to get down on the floor while I talk to you guys, and we're going to draw some more of these. Anyway, that was just a quick preview of a couple of them that I like. There's a bunch of them. This one actually does have a video, too, as well on YouTube. See how to make tiny little people in the, in the background or something. It's all there. All right? Check it out. Daily Commitment on uh, YouTube. So anyway... We're going to get all this art we've already done out of here, all right? And, get that out of the way, what we're going to do next is, we're going to create some art. We're going to create it on camera for you guys. I know, like I said, this is usually a gambling channel. We're not gambling right now. I feel like this still isn't quite perfect focus. It's good. There we go, sharp. Oh, sharp. There you go, sharp focus. It's interesting. I'm using the whatchamacallit there. Uh, there we go. But anyway, let's get let's get going. Let's get some art done. So here's our process. We're going to make our art. We're going to start with step one. Step one is pretty simple. We got to fold the piece of paper. I was doing the first couple. I did the uh, the fool, the fool, and the magician. I did on full pieces of paper. But you can see I was naturally trying to make it smaller. I'm the magician, right? I didn't even fill it out to the boundaries, and I realized I'm not trying to make giant blow ups. So I'm going to make it in two. So we'll start by folding the paper in two. That's pretty fun right there. Uh, and once we get the paper folded in two, we'll do the next step. The next step is very exciting. We'll draw the art. I'm kind of sad this video didn't start with a good intro. I keep wanting to start our videos with a like good intro, like, hey, let's jump into the action. And instead, I checked the Twitch stream. So I guess we're learning that you've got to learn to do videos better, more interesting, right, when they jump right in the action. Let's go ahead and move our, uh, our little guy here a little bit. So we're going to be sitting on the floor, right? Uh, you guys are going to need to see the art, right? Here, let's lay those out. Those are, I just bought those at the store, so there's actually a black. I don't know if you guys saw the last video. No black. I was doing great for all the low lights. I know that sounds crazy, but you can do it. You can do it. You kind of change the way you frame the picture. Anyway, here's the key, guys we got to go ahead and pick a piece of art to do. So that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm just going to pop up a browser. I'm going to go to the, um, whatchamacallit, what's it called? The, uh, the tarot. So tarot, tarot, uh, whatchamacallit. Also, I should be monitoring chat. I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm used to having Dan the Man here helping me. Stardog needs Dan the Man, right? Uh, anyway. So look that up. Let's go ahead and add the one we're going to do. So it's going to be, uh, I feel bad. Once again, I should have had this ready before I started the stream, the stream, but whatever, I didn't. So that's the way life is sometimes. What are you going to do? All right, here we go. We're going to do this one. This is a active one. All right, let's, let's download this bad boy. All right. So sorry you guys had to wait again. And again, we are making you guys wait, but that's okay. Let's go to UV. Everybody likes waiting. Everybody's waiting on stream. Uh, let's. I, I get on Dan. I'm like, hey, Dan, we got to keep the stream more action oriented. Then I try to do it by myself, and yeah, you see how good I do. All right. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to add the uh, source on UBS. UBS is pretty easy to use, but next time, time doing it before you get all the viewers watching. Uh, browse. I know you guys can't even see it, right? I think last time with Dan the Man, we did, uh, you know, you, he actually shared the, the screen so you could see. Um, but this time, I didn't do that, so this sucks. Anyway, anyway, that's the way it goes, though. 
There we go. There we go. All right. So there we go. We did it. We added our source. And now you guys can see it. There it is. Yay. Yay. The boringness of the stream stopped. All right. So there's our, there's our, there's our card we're going to do. So we're just going to put this over on this side of the screen. There we go. I'll scooch this over a little bit. So you guys don't miss what's going on. And we're ready to draw. All right, guys. We are ready to draw. Our stream is going ready to draw. Here's our markers, these new markers we got. We are about, we also got some colored pencils. If you watched the stream last time, you saw me do this technique where I just very lightly shaded, like just you touch little bits with the marker rather than filling it in, and you can make a light color with the marker. But with these colored pencils, it's gonna be way easier. So anyway, we won't have quite as many markers. We'll have the black marker, the black marker, which we didn't have last time. So that's gonna be good. All right, here we go. Right there, right there. Oh, shoot. I'm going to add chat on here before I forget, because I know I'll forget chat, and life will be tough. So let's see. Um, if you guys are doing this OBS, you go to View, go to Docs, go to Chat, and now I have chat up. So that way, if people say things, I can just see it. Boy, it's not showing. Boy, it's taking a bit to load. Bad internet here. Bad internet. Uh, I should probably drop all my other internet requirements. But I mean, you need those windows open a lot of times, so it's like, it makes sense to, to be, be having them there. Anyway, that's just kind of life. Uh, but, but, there it is. All right, welcome to the chat. All right, guys. All right, guys and girls. Let's draw, and I'll let him know, um, Dan the man is going to be back on later, exclamation point, uh, for now, it's just start all, start all. Oh, one, two, three. There we go. All right. Uh, let's get glasses. It's pretty funny how pretty funny how uh, un unplanned and scripted this stream is, but it's okay. Well, streams are like that. They get better over time. All right. So here we go. So we got our we got our paper. We got our image. We're gonna do. Uh, we got our new markers. We got new pencils. And. This is where the magic happens, boys and girls. All right, so the first thing is, well, I'm looking at this image of this picture. It's a beautiful image, very crisp and clean on the paper. It's so little, though. I'm used to having a bigger image to work with. So I'm actually going to go over here. I'm going to go to one of my other desktops. Oink. And... I'm going to go alright, 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 I just messed that up this sucks dude I keep making mistakes here I see how Dan must feel when I yell at him by accident alright, view stats docs chat there we go, now chat's back up And on desktop two, we're going to add another version of that card. I guess there's two ways to do it. There we go. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Again, we're not doing a great stream job. But that's okay. That's kind of how life is. Again. Hey man, we got our stream back. All right, we're back. We're back to streaming. All right, so here we go. So we're going to get out our black marker, right? That's number one, so our green marker. And then we're going to start. All right, well, a couple different things here. First of all, this guy, had, they've, they're on the, there's a lot of people on here, right? So people are generally harder to draw than inanimate objects. Um, 
first thing is we're going to want this earth. We're going to want this ground, right? So this ground is what they're standing on. There's a lot of them. This is going to be a tough picture to draw. It's going to be a tough picture to draw. It's going to be tough to get the ratios right. It's going to be tough to, uh, to, to make it all work right. So we're going to do, instead of starting with the black pen, these are great pens. Look at that nice fine point. I'll be able to make some nice strokes. Uh, maybe instead of starting with the pen, I'll start with a pencil and just pencil in some of these legs. These ratios are going to be kind of interesting because we've got, we got five guys, right? And they're all kind of interacting to make something happen here. And we're ideally going to catch the spirit of each 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 boy here. You can see you can see the uh, the the excitement in their faces. These are youths. They're just having fun. Uh, so you know what? I'm just going to dive in and start drawing in black to start with. Forget the pencil idea. I don't think that's any fun. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and start with this guy's boot. I guess coming up out of the earth, right? Because this thing probably comes up, I don't know if that's 20% of the picture, let's say this is the edge of it, all right, so that comes in, then you've got this shoe, the very first youth, he's got a boot, right, so let's see if we can just capture this boot, we want the spear of this boot, all right, and it kind of comes out a little bit of his heel, and then it comes up over like this, there we go, and then it, he just kind of has a pointy looking shoe on right there, so it's like spy versus spy, I don't know if you guys Ever saw a spy versus spy, but that's what it looks like to me. And it's got a little shadow in here, so just drop that in. And it kind of comes up and around. And it flares a little bit as it goes, you know, to where his, his calf comes out. But that's his boot there. It doesn't do much else besides that. It's got like a little rounded part here. And it's his pants or whatever it comes out a little bit. But there you go. That's our guy. That's our first youth. And it's kind of kind of come up. There's like this uh, mountainy kind of way in the background. It's weird how that's somehow in the background and yet the youth are way in the foreground. So it's interesting kind of effect. Now here we're gonna we're gonna get our second boot at some point here. This guy's got a boot right here that comes in. His boot's lower though, right? His boot kind of goes around and out like that, right? And like it opens up and comes out. There's a little part that opens up and comes out. And then his is more like up and down here, and it has some shadows in there, but we're not wearing those shadows right now. And it kind of comes out like that, and it kind of comes down, and it goes back up like that. All right, and it kind of comes down like that. All right, there we go. And it doesn't actually have a lot of highlights or lowlights in there, but that's our guy. There we go. That's our boot. Now, He's got a calf here that comes out of this. And this actually has a little thing that comes out like that. And it goes, yeah, like, it's like a little ridge or whatever from the boot. All right, now, so it comes up, and then his calf kind of goes over all of a sudden, which is kind of weird. He's like leaning forward, I guess. you got to capture that. And this is going to be his thigh. His thigh doesn't really start for a little while. So I think I start the thigh a little early. We'll just add a little there. All right, and the thigh kind of comes up. And still, still is at an angle. But it's wider than the angle of this, which is kind of his shin coming out, right? And then that kind of segues out to like a knee thing, comes back in a little bit, and then that's his thigh coming the rest of the way this way, right? And then it's going to get caught in this denim dressy looking thing. This guy's one of our main, bigger figures. They're all about the same size, though. But you can tell his boot's a little bigger. He's a little bigger than our other guy. So anyway, that's going to be his leg. Now this comes like this, and it touches his thigh here, and then it comes down a little bit after, or not his thigh, his cap. Actually, the other guy's leg is just here all of a sudden. Okay, yeah, this is interesting. This is an interesting angle. This is going to have to connect with our other guy, right? So instead of like just touching the horizon, there's actually another guy's boot here, like this, and it's got this kind of angle to it, all right? Yeah, it comes down a little bit, and then it's like this. This guy's got all point, the pointiest shoes, right? But then it kind of comes up and around. Up and around like this. All right, so just leave that there. Let's cap this for a second. Wow, that's interesting. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to have to catch this angle here. And you can see I'm going to catch this angle here. We're going to catch this, why this guy's leg is spread here and the way this is kind of pushing and pushing. But this is it's a wide spread between these two points that I'm going to have to get. So let's 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 think about how we're gonna do that. So one thing we're gonna do is we gotta get this leg to come up right, which is kind of tricky, right? 
Like it comes up, comes up like this, and actually balloons a little more out with the pants. So I'll get a little more balloon in there. You see, it came back and got a little bit of a roundedness to it. There we go. And this is actually going to come in, kind of like this, right? And it goes past a little bit, and then it's it's got some gray, and then his his thigh is actually here, a slight bit of an angle, kind of like that. And uh, this is going to be his knee. So we're going to follow his shin like that. He's got a little knee here, a little knee thing. And then this is the other angle on his thigh, which is more like that, because his thigh widens outwards. Right, you got to catch that. And uh, this is going to come up. Now the other one is going to reach now. You can see at first I didn't think it was going to reach that far, but it will. And it actually shows a little more of his calf is still here, like coming out. And then it like cuts back like this, All right? Actually, it's a slightly different angle, it's more of this angle. There we go, like this. Right. It comes this way. And it connects, yeah. All right. There we go. There we go. And now we need like a little, a little swishy guy here. He's got a swoosh that kind of comes around. And then it kind of swoops up like this. And then this is another swoosh here. Here, let's try to catch this. I want to capture it. Look at this. There's like a fold here. There's another fold here. And this kind of comes out with another swoosh. Swoochy doochels like that. There we go. And this is actually going to ride all the way up farther and stuff like that. This goes like that. That's like that. This is like the swoosh starts coming here. Connected with that one. And this one kind of comes up and swooshes here. There's another one here. We're gonna we gotta eventually we gotta make that thigh come in a little deeper. It's gotta touch where it swooshes up. And there's another one here. Swoosh it out. All right. And we act, we need to catch the width of this leg here, and that's gonna be where that is. I think that's about right here. But there's also a staff in here too, so it's kind of tricky. So this is gonna be the width of his leg about to here, and this is gonna come out and up, right? Out and kind of up like that. This is going to swoosh up and kind of bu it bubbles a little more there. And then, but then you got to catch the, the shape of his back here, which kind of has to swoosh. I'm leaning back, I'm leaning back here, guys. It's actually even a little higher, more like this. There we go. And this comes down. Now, this is more of a straight swooshy flip to it. I just, I, my, my poor little hand wrinkled when he came and did it. All right, there we go. Let's get a staff here. I hope I got the angle of that staff right. Get the butt of the staff in there. And then you can see. His thigh, there's a swooshy guy. This is his swoosher, right? This is his, his thing. His, uh, what do they call that thing? It's not a skirt exactly, but fits his skirt, right? It's got a couple swooshers coming up. Actually, I, I started that a little bit early, but that's okay. It kind of splits here a little bit. And then there's another legish section here, which we're going to just try to capture right now. We'll get back to that. Anyway, this goes here, this goes here, that's his leg, this comes down, this comes down. Here's his boot. His boot actually doesn't go all the way down there. It's about to here, we'll say. Right there is where it splits. I didn't realize that over Cliff Lonzo a little more, but that's okay. Um, that's his, his uh, little dressy looking thing, which actually does have more like kind of, has like kind of a bag looking thing here, but I'm not sure I'm going to draw that yet, so I'm not going to get too far into it. His back is going to have to lean back here. He's got some shadowing in there. And this kind of comes up. It's actually still leaning kind of back. All right, so that starts his torso, at least, so we can picture how we're going. Those feet look pretty good. That looks pretty good. We're checking the chat. Um, yeah, nobody's saying anything. That's fine. That's fine, guys. We got, we're documenting our beautiful art here. Uh, let's actually check. Yeah, the art's fine. They can see. Real good art. So this is good. So this is good. So we're making progress. Now, over here... This staff is going to have to continue, and it's one of the foreground things. So it's going to be kind of straight, kind of goes across, has to get up here where his head is. What I'm going to do is just draw a little bit more of it. Just draw a little more. I think that's probably slightly too severe an angle, but we'll see. I just don't want that staff to get lost in all the other lines I'm going to be doing here, right? So anyway, we got this guys, we got this guys, oh, we're doing the ground, that's what started all this. We're just following lines here, guys, we're following lines. Here's the ground comes along, do, 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 do. and then all of a sudden we hit this guy's foot, right? And his foot just kind of goes like this, into the ground a little bit, but mostly he's up here, right? 
And that foot actually is gonna get cut off by this other guy's thing coming down. See this guy's, his other leg comes down here. So you can see that, that foot won't exactly cut off the leg unless we make the leg a little closer. So let's make the leg a little closer than I was envisioning here to start with. So more like this, all right? This is his leg coming out, all right? He's gonna have to get to a knee. He's gonna have to come back. So the thigh doesn't actually go very long. It's gonna get to a knee quickly. Here's a knee, knee there. And then it's gonna come down. We're gonna get to a boot. The thigh, it's gonna turn, like you said, at this knee. And then it's actually gonna get the calf here. There we go. And then it's actually gonna turn a little bit like this. And it's got a boot here. The boot is actually this direction, which I was trying to capture with that. I made it a little too fat. He's a little, this is a little too fat, so we'll narrow that up a little bit like that. Narrow it a little bit like that. It's a little wiggly line, wiggly line, wiggly line. But this here that you stopped it at, you said it's going to be a boot, is too short. You see it's too short? Right, that boot should be longer, right? I don't know why I cut the bottom line off that. I think I was just like, oh shit, his leg's too fat. What am I doing? What am I doing? So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to save this. We're going to rescue this. We're going to capture what we can, okay? So the first thing is we're going to try to work on this guy's uh, foot some more because it's going to have to be completed anyway. And that kind of comes up like this. And he's got to do it like this, right? It's not exactly the same position as, the other, as it was before, but it's a good start. Now over here, what we're going to do with this is we're going to go ahead and try to capture the rim of the boot, which I think, looking at it, kind of goes like that. And then, kind of comes down. I did want to catch this angle here, because it's like an angle, right? And it's got to be interrupted by this guy's leg. This guy's leg is going to jut, right, like this. That guy's leg is like, whoa, whoa, I'm jutting all the way over here. And then slight angle change. Slight angle change. There we go, that's going to be his leg. Now here, this guy's other leg has to be here. This foot actually is here, and it's balanced with the guy. He's got like here, right? And it's like this. Actually, it's about at his knee, which is about where I put it, yeah. Like this. And then the boot comes down like this, and it has kind of a foot like that. And this foot kind of goes like that, right? And we capture his foot kind of coming down, and they wanted to get it behind the other guy's leg. I think that's part of the reason they have it like that. And now that we've got his boot, we want to get that nice, uh, the rest of that, uh, what do you call that? The calf, right? And we want to capture some of these knee highlight lines, right, in here, another highlight line in here, right? And this actually comes out and makes his thigh, which probably should be a little wider, but it's okay. Let's kind of finish this guy's thing. It's got to come up a little bit, right? Come up, come up, come up. There's going to be a step. And this is a really active picture. This is a good challenge. That's why I talked about sketching it out first. I'm like, nah, that's too much. That's too much. Let's get, this actually comes behind. There's a staff right here, and it's sort of out from the boot a little bit. So we're just going to draw that staff in. There we go. There's a staff. Now, this leg continues upwards, but you actually don't see it. The staff kind of cuts up through and out, right? And this one kind of goes like this. And eventually, actually, interrelates with this guy, which I guess should have been at a lower angle, so let's change the angle a little bit there. And this is, it's a bendy stick, bendy stick. We're going to connect that. And then this stick here is going to go this way, right? And it's going to be on top of everything until it connects with this other stick. So these two, two wands are going to clash here in a second. This one comes straight, and this one comes straight this way. There we go. That one thing goes under the other one, which I don't think I quite got that line right, but whatever. Here, let's let's fatten it up a little bit on that side so it looks like it's a little better on that line. All right, we're doing good, guys. We're doing real good. We're going to put our pen up for a second. We're going to pop over to chat. Looking good, looking good. All right. So now, what's next? All right. Well, we've got this... Uh, whatchamacallit here, we got this line we're going to need to capture, which is like the rest of this guy's skirt, so it like buffs out a little bit there, and then it comes and it hits this guy's back, right? 
And the guy's like, oh, I'm leaning back here. I'm leaning way back. He's leaning way back, way back. He's got a shoulder here. Right, and that's like his shoulder coming out. And then eventually it's going to hit his neck up there. Right. Now this guy's got like a thing. He's leaning back like this. Back, 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 back. And then eventually you got to get this thing has to swoop. Right, like this, and that's like his arm hole. Right, and he's got part of his arm is here, that comes up and over. Part of his arm is here, that comes up and out. Right, up, 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 up and out. Right, past this guy's shoulder, which all of this is to carry a staff. There's a staff here, man. It's all about the wands, dude. It's all about getting this wand right here, getting that wand right there. Make sure it's behind his back. And straight up, straight up, straight up. And this guy's kind of, his arm kind of comes up. And then next thing you know, you see his hand. Right here, his hand up, over. And it's got like, it's got a couple little fingers here. It's kind of carrying the wand. Right, so this is his hand. This is the, the, the separation. There you go. And it's, he's carrying this wand. This one goes up out of his hand, or through his hand, I guess is a better way to say it. And up, 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 all the way towards the top of the picture. And it's going to come right back down. There we go. Right on back down. And here, I wish I'd made his fingers a little bit longer, so I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to make it a little longer. Kind of put a little black on top of black and wiggle it out. Woo! Wow, that's good. That's good. Good staff. Good thing here. Now, this is interesting. This guy's got an arm. There's a staff. There's, a, there's actually a staff right in this guy's face, which we haven't drawn his face yet. We gotta finish drawing his back and this kind of top section. So what we're gonna do this top section kind of comes across like this and then goes down. And he's got an arm coming back here, back, 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 and that kind of comes around. And that's gonna join up with his back, which goes over here. And actually it's gonna be different color, different color, different color is gonna cut off about right here. Okay, there we go. That's his other arm. His arm kind of comes to the black. It kind of comes around like that. It's got some shadow in there. Maybe it's a little wider on the bottom there. All right, now his head. Head's going to come up here. Neck. A little more neck here. We've got a little bit of a whoop, chin coming out. Comes up. It's not quite that sharp, but whatever. Nobody's perfect, right? You get a little nose here. You do, do. And his most salient thing here that I see is this band, this headband. Very easy to see. Right? And his hair kind of poofs out around the head down. Poof, 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 poof. Poof, 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 poof. Poof actually poofs in here. Poof, 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 poof. There you go. And his eyes are only about right. There's his eye right there. All right. There, there's our guy. There's our first little guy. Our first little figure's finished. He's got, his, he's got his stick. He's fighting with the stick. He's fighting with the stick, right? This guy's got this uh, arm shoulder. It's going to swoop. Then I've got to get his head in there, right? So let's see how to do this. So first of all, I've got a swoop right here. It needs to come, this needs to come up. I'm gonna start with this coming up. All right, because that's a continuation of that line. And he's gonna have two arms. They have to grab this staff, right? As you can see, this is just the shoulder. We've gotta come out of the shoulder like this, right? It comes at a little angle. It's gonna turn at his, el turn at his elbow. Become kind of more straight here, like this. Right? Come all the way down. And then all of a sudden, it's like there's fingers here. There's fingers here. There's fingers here on the edge of the staff. Right? And he's kind of coming all the way up and around. Let's lengthen his finger. And this other arm is doing the same thing. Let's get this. Let's catch her at the top of this. This is his shoulder. Comes over, over, over like this. Right? Over like this. And then down. And then there's a little like it overlaps there, what becomes his arm or the, his forearm more than his shoulder. His sleeve actually ends here, and then there's more sleeve here, like that. There's like two little red sleeve things. I don't know if I should have gotten that, but I did. Now here, there's a little bit of room, a little bit of room, just like this. That's his sleeve, but then you actually see his chin comes down across the edge of that uh, thing. It comes down like that. And you use a little bit of a mouth. He's actually more putting some effort in there. So he gets a dark, kind of grimacing mouth. And it comes around like this, comes around like that. Here's his neck. His neck is here. 
It's got hair up in here, a lot of hair, a lot of hair, a lot of hair. And this is important. There's going to be a staff in this guy's face, right? See the staff's going to come all the way across here. We're thinking about where to put the staff. Because it's going to come across, it's going to hit this guy's hair. It's going to hit his hat. This hat is actually on top of it. Let's get this hat drawn in. All right, it's like a little bowler looking, bowler looking thing. A little more round than I drew it. <laughs> Round it down there. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put some hair in here. And I really want to capture this one eye, right? There we go. Get that. Uh, the eyebrowness of it, and then it kind of, oh, there's an openness there too to it. And I know that you know, it looks like a monkey right now, but that's kind of what that's kind of what we're going for. He's pushing, he's pushing the other guy. And you can actually see an ear here too. There's an ear. All right, not bad. I didn't actually want to connect that line right there. I might be able to see that. It's like cutting there. I might be able to get that a little lower with the thing, but it's good enough for now. So that's that guy's face. That's his arm. Hey, we got the start of his his red frock kind of goes up and over since his chin is like it's his chin is pushed down. His chin is pushed down like this. His chin is chipped down like this. His chin is down like this. There we go. All right, now back to our back to our drawing. Back to our drawing. So anyway, we're doing good. We got his arm. We got the guy. Uh, what we see here is that there's this long thing coming across here. That's a staff. We're gonna have to catch that. We gotta get the rest of this guy's chest. We gotta get his other arm. That's where we're going to next. Okay, here's his other arm. So that comes down like this, and then it has its own bend in it, like this, further deeper down. Because we want to catch that this comes over like this, and then he's got his hand actually like that over the other half of the other part of the staff. So let's get his other hand here. Like that. And the staff actually is like there and there. Right? And then keeps going. The staff is in violet all the way to the end. There's actually another staff that will go over it at some point. So we're not going to complete that. Alright? But that's him holding his staff. That's our guy. It's almost like we're running a room here. We're going to watch this. Because we made that figure real big. We gotta make sure we get room. So this is this is our next guy right here, this falling guy. He's kind of all the way in the back. We already got his leg here. That looks pretty good. There's gonna be an elbow that blocks that. And his hip is gonna come up a little more here. And he actually has kind of this wavy looking thing on. Wavy, 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 kind of waves like that. It's, uh, it's black kind of looking thing. And that's gonna come up. And it's going to come up to where these staffs kind of come together. This staff is actually going to keep coming up. That's the staff all the way down there. This is his wavy thing. It's through the crossing area, through the crossing area. This arm is actually here. Wow, this is interesting. So the staff keeps coming, right, like this. After it gets past the waving area, this guy actually has his hand on it. I'm going to go ahead and get this hand here. His hand up and over it. And the hand is coming down like this. This guy's hand. You'll see him in a second. But we're going to go ahead and get his elbow. I'm going to keep here and I'm going to grab his elbow right now. There's his elbow coming over. Right? It's funny. His elbow is going to hit this guy's head here. This guy's got a head. Some hair. Which obviously we'll be calling more brown later. We're going to have to try to capture his brow. He's kind of looking that way. Just the edge of his brow looking that way. Right, and he's got a shoulder. Shoulder coming down. Like this. Like this. Like that. And it kind of gets in this guy's way. Alright. And then comes back. Alright. And then there's like a spot where it divides the colors of this guy's tunic. This goes down. Down, down, down. This is the same guy. This is the same guy. This is his leg coming up. All right, here's his leg I was trying to capture. And it comes up about to where that guy's boot is. And then the guy's tunic is there. So here's the tunic. Kind of puffing out. And then it comes back here. And it's, he's got like a thing here that provides his, his uh, top and bottom parts. <laughs> there's the tunic coming down and over, over here. And then it comes up. And it comes up, 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 up. up. Now over here is his leg, we need the other part of right here, 
Alright, and then here's where the knee hits. And then it comes out. He's got a little calf going on here. Calf comes back. And then he's actually wearing some of my favorite looking loafers here. These are some fly little loafers here. A little scooch around. A scooch down here. And that's his heel actually coming out. These nice loafers. These are nice loafers, man. I like your loafers, man. I like your loafers. All right, so we're just going to keep checking over here for guys. Uh, let me know any questions you have about the falling technique. All right, here we go. Now, where are you going? <laughs> we got this guy's leg, all right? So hold on, we're going to pop over here. I got a bigger version of her suit. So we're getting this guy's legs got to go out and about like this. Do, 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 do. I guess it comes out like that. There's his leg coming out. And you want to like catch the way he's standing. You're trying to catch the way these legs they kind of brace each other. And you're just trying to feel that, if that makes sense. All right, and this one's actually going to come a little higher. He's still going to have this fucking loafer looking thing on. All right, I'm going to try to catch. I'm actually trying to be flexible in my lines here and catch the motion. All right, catch the motion of this guy. Catch the motion of his, because his leg, it's like it's got this feel to it that I can't quite capture, but it's pushing against. That's why I left it kind of even sloppy there. I don't know how to catch it. I don't to catch this feeling of this leg being so, uh, I don't know how to say it, like pushing against, pushing against. See the angle of the shoe even when it comes up and around like that. I keep pushing again. I'm trying to capture that. Capture what it is. Anyway, so we got that going. There's going to be like a little uh, texture line here. There's another little texture line here that stops. There's a big texture line here that catches all that. And there's a couple like here. There we go. And one like here, which you already kind of got. Okay. Now, we've got the guy's arm. There's actually a little line here that catches this like that's actually an arm, not just two sections or whatever. And some like uh, texture lines here. Not texture, uh, shade, shade and texture line. All right, so we got this guy. We got him on there. He's no neck right now. I didn't get his neck. That's actually, I mean, it's a mess. I just missed his neck. I didn't realize the neck was in the picture, so we'll just try to catch some of that. I'll swoop this. There we go. Swoop that guy. Swoop, swoop, swoop. And there's the edge of his arm. All right, because that comes out. And then there's his arm. His arm's got to come up. Up, up, up. Out a little more first. Then up, up, up. Head actually, or was it up here? And then one of these guys, and then his hand comes out and has a hook, hook there. But there's a big old staff here that's what we're really trying to get. A wand, if you will. Big old wand in his hand, right? Because I want this wand to actually come up this direction, like it's doing, but also to come down. Let's get sleeve over here. Let's catch that. There we go. There we go. Let's get that back. There we go. Now that wand is actually going to come down, down, down. So down, down, down. You can actually see it coming down all the way here. The edge of that butt is still in the picture. And this is wand here. And there we go. There we go. That's a wand. That looks good. That looks real good. So this wand is actually the prime wand in a way. It doesn't get overwhelmed by any other wand. It's, I mean, this is just not like spiritually or anything. I just mean it's background. And it goes up to a certain point. There we go. There we go. Now we got that wand in there. Now this wand is actually going to go under that wand and it doesn't matter too much where it goes except I want it to interact with the fifth wand which hasn't been drawn yet. Wait, we've got this guy's hand on this wand. This one's going to continue up. It doesn't interfere with anything else yet. It just continues up. So we'll just continue that. Try to catch that line. Well, as we can. There we go. That's that one. 
This wand has not been drawn. It's going to be near his head. It's going to come. It's going to come. And it's actually this guy, this guy all the way in the background. who We haven't we've drawn his skirt coming up here. There's a bunch of wands. This was going to be his shoulder. Okay, so his shoulder comes like this. His other shoulder is supposed to be like here. His other shoulder. And that comes up to like the neck area here. All right? Here's his open collar. Kind of opens up like that. And then you can see this is actually a sleeve here. Goes like that. Oh, the sleeve actually butts against. This is actually his arm here. It comes up, it makes an elbow, and it comes out like this. All right? Now eventually it's going to make a sleeve that closes. And he's got a nice little hand over here, like a couple fingers over. All right? And that is going to curl around a wand. That wand needs to go up to this guy's face, behind this guy's head. You see where it's going to go. And through that thing, that first path right here, through there. So let's see if we can kind of join that, kind of like this. All right, it just goes behind everything. It just goes behind everything. Right in that guy's face. Just like that. Yep, there we go. Right in that guy's face, just like that. There we go. Yep, and then all the way across like that and actually goes to where his second hand is. So his face is going to be leaning back. Oh no, you drew the wand over his face. So that's not good, because his face was supposed to be over the wand. So that's the first real mistake we've made. That does kind of suck. So we don't know what we're going to do yet. Let's just keep working. We'll, we'll, we'll audible out of that. We know we got another part of his arm here. I got excited drawing the wand. That happens. Another part of his arm comes up here. He's got to be looking back, right? So if this is his head, this will be his hair. His hair can go over that. We'll make him have dark hair like that, so it flows over it. And he's got to be like looking, looking, looking back. That's like his nose, his eye kind of arches back like that, and his other eyes over there. There we go. There we go. There we go. And now, we're going to try to capture his chin. This will be his chin, right? And this will all be his hair. There we go. We'll just leave that a little bit. That kind of makes a face. I can see that face in there. Uh, now we can do the other part of the arm. Right, so his other arm actually comes up like this and goes over the wand like this way with his hand. There we go. There we go. We did it. We did it. We saved it. We saved it. Oh, we almost lost our glasses. All right, we saved that face there. That's good. All right, we saved it. We saved it. I think we can still get the feel of that guy looking back, which is what we really want, right? It's the feel of him looking back. And here's his arm coming down. There we go. And that's all going to be him. That's going to be his shoulder looking back. And that's going to come down. And that's all going to be part of his, like, dress or whatever that we're going to make that part of. You'll see, you'll see as we go. You'll see as we go. That all be kind of filled in with little black patches. So I think we did it. Now that we're missing one figure, wait, we've got one, two, three, four, all five wands, right? The last figure is somewhere. He, this is actually his arm right here. And his arm comes down. Right? This is his arm. And he's got a jacket coming down like this. This is like his shoulder here. His head. Let's do a swooper for his neckline. And then we'll swoop back up. And there's his jacket, kind of comes over. That comes out like that, because other arm's that way. And so he's actually looking up, kind of. See if we can capture that up looking. So he's got a chin. He's kind of, his face comes up and around. And it's like this. 
And he's got a little bit of hair up here, which is a little bit of hair there. Coming around. But I want to catch these eyes, these upward looking. Upward, see his face is up. Up, up, up. And a little bit of lips there. He's looking up. There we go. That's what we're trying to capture. There we go. Up, up, up. His hair down a little bit. Alright, so that's his face. That's his jacket. That's his hand coming up there. This is going to have to come down. We're going to have to do the rest of his, his, his look here. So getting back to this, this is what started all. We're following these lines here. There's going to be a little bit of earth in between these two guys like that. Uh, the earth here, we're just not going to be able to see. I'm actually going to do his leg. His leg comes down. This guy's leg. Okay, let's try to just make this guy, because this guy's interesting. Because he kind of moved where he is a little bit in the picture. So this is supposed to be here. And he's supposed to have one leg coming this way. There we go, that's a good start. And then it comes out for this little like calf thing. And then he's got like a low shoe. And the low shoe's kind of coming this way. I don't have to talk perfectly, yeah, let's just get it in there. There we go. There we go. I feel like I changed his angle a little bit, but it's okay. That's one leg that's fully on the ground. And the other leg, we're actually gonna see just a little bit of it here. Let's get Let's get this kind of swirl it comes up around this way. And the same with this one, swirl comes up around this way. There you go. And there's the other leg. It's got to go kind of this way. There we go. And down. And down. And then kind of catch that uh, other foot coming out this way. Just a simple little uh, pointy toed shoe. That might be easy. All right, there we go. All right, we got it. We got it. We need to do the rest of this earth. Right, which comes up and kind of peaks and goes like that. All right, so we got all the earth in there. We got all these lines. We got lots of faces. This is really good. This looks really good, guys. All right, so this is perfectly done, perfectly drawn. We got all our lines. We don't have all our lines. There's some there's some texture lines for this. I'm going to go ahead and put those in now. Uh, nice. There's like another mound behind over here. There's like this kind of comes down. There's not a lot of texture except where their feet are, you notice. Like if I, let me zip over here just to get a better look. This comes down, right? And this goes kind of where his feet are, so where his texture line is, right? And the same with this texture line. It comes up, then it comes down, around, and it's kind of where his feet are, right? And I kind of made it a little darker than I meant to, but that's okay, that's just the way it goes. Uh, let's get a few more texture lines in here. All right, there's even a swirl here, right, where it like goes like that, where he's on this thing. And this one kind of continues up, around, and down like that. All right, you like these texture lines are key because it makes it look kind of mountainous. Because they're supposed to be on some, like, you know, little rocky ground that people are on, you know, that kind of thing. they got to push off these, these pieces of texture or what they push off of. They're part of the, part of the, the look. Of the, of the area, right? All right, all right. So there's our there's our art. We got all these different uh, these these guys. This one actually I didn't finish, so that's got to come to an end at some point. I think it goes past his head, and I'm actually going to make it go past there. I'm going to make it come like that. I don't know if best way to look at that. Um, same with this one. This one's going to go right up to here, and in the other one. I'm just going. Like, I'm actually going to make it go past. I want to make it go past. There we go, like that. Okay, past and behind. There we go. So all our wands are completed. All our figures are completed. Uh, looks really good. Looks really good. The mistake with that guy's hair is kind of neat. How I kind of tried to fix that. Um, it's going to be fun to color this one in. It's going to be a real good one. I want just a little bit of this guy's brow. There we go. In there. You see how I just touched that? Yeah, that looks really good, guys. Obviously, I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do the coloring. I'm going to do all the little leaves. I'm going to do all that kind of stuff. Maybe I should do some leaves now, but I feel like taking a break and making sure this stream properly on Twitch, guys, uh, because this is a great little video. You can see the whole thing, how I framed it, right? That's how I did it. That's my process there. And we got to have it live on Twitch. We didn't get any comments uh, this time, but we're going to get some more comments, I'm sure, next time or 
maybe in our next video we do some coloring and maybe next time we'll have um, Dan the man back and it won't just be star dog here uh, until next time guys have a good one and uh, keep gambling and keep creating <laughs>